Hello everyone, how's your day? I'm having a great day. So we are playing some more Kerbal Space Program today. Oh, how many times have I said day? Uh, and I'm amused by this, but I've just figured out that you can actually move around in this view when you're deciding what to click. Uh, so a slight update to the series. Up to now, you haven't been seeing me build stuff in the VAB and in the space plane hangar, but from now on, you will also, for the most part, not see me launch stuff and get it into orbit, because that was a bit boring, I figured out. Uh, so most of the things are already going to be in orbit, and uh, you'll just have to believe me that I got it up there legit. So what we are going to be doing today is get into the mobile processing labs, the MPLs. These things right here. And I've set up a few interesting rules about this that should make our series a bit a bit more unique and interesting. Hmm. What's with this? What are you doing? That doesn't seem right. Well, anyway, the rules are... First of all, we are only allowed to have one MPL at a time, because there are, I don't know, very expensive or something and hard to produce. We're only allowed to have one, we launch it, and then we have it. If we don't have it on a lander, but we want to land it on, say, a moon or something, uh, then we have to um, undock it and transfer it to another spacecraft, to a lander, and land it that way. So I think that should be pretty interesting. If we crash with it and destroy it, uh, it takes five episodes to construct a new one. Uh, like, we are not allowed to use the MPL for five episodes, and then we are allowed to launch one again. Uh, so that's kind of a penalty for destroying it. And there needs to be some penalty. Perhaps it's not enough. We'll see if we should increase it to, like, ten episodes or something. And one last thing. We are allowed to land it safely on Kerbin and recover it, and then we can launch it again. And that might seem a bit pointless, but it will allow us to attach certain parts to it. It doesn't all need to be docking, it can be solid attachments as well, but it's a little more pricey and time-consuming to do so. So I've been working on it a bit, I've come up with something that uh, can bring it into orbit very easily, uh, which is going to be one of the rare things that we launch on camera, since we only do it once for a long time. And also I've launched two two retrieval capsules uh, for this mobile processing lab. One is at the station, so let's go there. So here it is, the largest thing at the station. Uh, the Well, the lighting is not the best. Yeah, see the mobile processing lab goes in here, docks to that, and then this undocks goes uh, into the atmosphere. Uh, there's some heat shields at the front, I don't know. I, there's no, no such physics in KSP, but I guess that's cool. And then there's a bunch of parachutes that open uh, two by two, and then four at the end, and there's landing legs, so that's how it lands. I also have one just randomly orbiting Kerbin at a low orbit, and we can't see it right now because it is considered a breeze. It doesn't exactly have a, um, a, a pod, so let's see. Where is it? Aha, useful debris. So here it is, pretty much the same thing you've seen before. We also have another new thing here, the fuzzy gravel. Uh, which I'm not going to show you right now, because we'll see it later in the episode, but it's the first mission with the MPL. It doesn't have the MPL yet, so uh, we have to launch that yet and dock it to this thing. So here's the MPL launcher on the launch pad where it belongs, and there is the processing lab. These boosters are totally balanced. Oh, I'm way too fast. And gravity turn right now. No, that's the wrong way. Alright! This is upside down. I'm upside down right now. <laughs> That's why I need to go to this marker, not to the 90. Yeah, a bit above that. Alright, that's good. That's good enough, he's gonna catch up with us. After a bit of time warp. This music might be extremely loud, it's very loud for me. Uh, actually, let me check. All the sound levels are perfect. Uh, that's getting quite a bit away. Oh. Mm. I guess let's cut the throttle because we don't wanna... I guess we wanna get slightly away from that. But we wanna wait for the apapsis. These are not weak engines. I used full engines before, but uh, something was wrong. They weren't quite losing their decouplers. And I switched them with skipper engines and it's okay. So I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but full engines seem bugged. Hmm. Yeah, nothing to drop. No. No, I don't think so. Alright, so let's get into orbit. So, circle rise. And we're pretty much in a perfect position for rendezvousing with that. Let's, let's set it as target. Aha, uh -huh, we might even be able to burn right here. That is so perfect! Look at that! It, 
the most perfect rendezvous I've done. And it's right at the node, so what is this descending? That means up. Uh like that. Uh we need to Well we need to burn the opposite way, unfortunately. So that kinda sucks. Where is it? Right here. Go around here. About here is where we need to Oh, right now. And that's kinda it. Uh, 3.3 kilometers. This is okay. Let's try fix it with RCS. Do we have RCS even? Yeah, they're on the other everywhere. Oh, let's make it worse. Okay, the best we can do is that. How about that? No? Yes, helping? Where is it? No, it's double or something. Alright, I'm happy with that. 2.7 is enough, that's pretty close. And we'll be able to fix it on our way. And there it is! 72 for now. Ah, speed relative to target. To the target. Almost at the closest approach. We can probably see it by now. Ah, it's right at Kirbin. <laughs> and the reflection, that's so realistic. We are actually very slow relative to our target. Let's burn towards the target. Is this towards? Yes, obviously. And slightly, slightly that way. Get Kirbin out of our sight. Hmm, now we're going straight towards it and at a reasonable speed. I'm starting to see it, mostly because I know what shape to look for. I know what it looks like, you don't. On the other hand, Hmm. Alright, let, let me show you what it looks like. Ah. It doesn't illuminate itself very well, but it is something. Uh, and it's gonna help us to dock. Mm, you're so close. Well, why am I going away? <laughs> so bright! Hmm. A bit that way, yes. And perfect, we're going straight in. I hope I did this right. I can see it because <laughs> of this. And dock, yes, perfect. Brilliant. Now, why I dock this in the first place? I need to transfer some fuel into this. Now, what do I want to do? Is this full? No. Is there anything we could snag out of here? Because this is going away? No, I don't think so. Alright, let's then... Undock. No, let's turn off the lights and wait for daylight. Like, for sunrise. How long is that? It's quite a while. No, no, it's not long. And undock that. Undock this as well. Oh, yeah, that's right. The couple. And now. Just the, ah, I bumped myself. Now I have uh, I have to correct it. I should have been using caps lock the whole time. All right. So fortunately I just noticed this is not quite turning out right. We'll have to cancel this mission because we're not gonna be able to land and uh, this is a bit too a bit too big. Slightly bigger than I expected, and it doesn't fit in here. What is that? Fuzzy gravel 2.0 Fuzzy Gravel 2.0 with two extra fuel tanks and these beams here. 
that changes everything. We don't need to cancel this mission. We just need to bring that to here. I don't know where this one came from, but I parked it next to that one and let's switch. Uh, we'll still have, where is it? That piece of debris up there. We'll probably have to use that right now. Uh, come on. No. Oh, look, it's right there. Undock it and... Go pick that thing up, dock it to this, so we can transfer some fuel in here. It's low on fuel, I noticed. Oh, we're docked. Alright, that was sooner than I expected. RCS off. Um, get curving out of our sight, and... How wobbly is this? Ah, oh, not very wobbly, because it has um, the modules here. Wait, here it is called the SS module. I thought it was just called something reaction wheels or whatever. Alright, so let's dock to that, that one, 2.0. Which again, I have no idea where it came from. And then everything went black. Yes. Oof. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, slow down. Maybe. Yes. Why am I not docked yet? Why am I not docked? What's going on? Good. Alright, time warp fixes everything. And let's transfer some fuel. Let's turn on the lights. So much nicer. We need to fill those, right? Yes. Now, just for a good measure, I decided to store this huge thing, not as debris, but as... Wait, switch it. No, not this. Yeah. I'm gonna store this at that one in there. Actually, that's better. Now we'll see what we're doing. This is so much easier with lights on. Alright, no, don't go too far. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much exact now. Uh, which one is for slowing down? H. And dog? That's right. We will also refill this thing with RCS just because we can. There is some RCS here that we don't really need anymore. Let's turn off the gears here, and lights, because we won't be needing them anymore. Come on, I pressed L. And final step, get this... Undock, and get it back to where it belongs to. Wait, it's not the right thing. That's, that's the right thing. I've actually gotten pretty good at this, like docking. I think I'm pretty good at it. The trick is to look at the navel, not the... Not what's going on with the crafts. And why the lag? I'm not looking at Kirbin. And perfect. Something seems to be wrong with the with ascending and descending nodes. What? Where am I clicking? This is not even, like, what's going on? I can't click on this line. Let me reload KSP. Aha! Now it's working. So that did the trick. That's a huge ascending node. Oh, what am I doing? I'm not supposed to be using these engines. Alright, I didn't use that much. Uh, I'm supposed to use that engine at the back, so let's deactivate all this. And activate that one. Um... Now, it's actually, the easiest way to do this is to delete the maneuver, and to do it on the opposite side instead. Mm. And this engine has no fuel? What? How does, what? 
Shut it down. Well, this really doesn't make any sense to me. Why would these have no fuel? It's full. A full tank for you. And that's fuel crossfit capable. I know that much, unless they changed it. Yep, definitely works here. I don't see how it wouldn't work in orbit. And it's done. Not a number. Great. Brilliant. Now, let's find a maneuver. Where is Minimus in the first place? Somewhere around here. Hmm. Hey! <laughs> that accuracy. And there it is! So we are doing our burn, we are kinda wobbly. I may have placed this um, kinda angled so they make me spin. But the SS is fighting that. We are almost there, we are almost out of fuel as well. But this is just, this will we still have that thing so no worries. Uh. And there we go. I managed to get ourselves a pretty low periapsis. We'll fix it on our radar a few times more. Haha! I have a very low paralysis over Minimus. I'm just about to enter its sphere of influence. So, like, 1000 times. There we go. What's that now? 6. Pretty low. Indeed. And this is where we will do our breaking. Should be pretty easy since Minimus is such a small object here. Yeah. Not difficult at all. I pumped all the fuel out of here and evenly spread it around my engines here, these fuel tanks here. Uh, so now there's really no point in keeping this anymore. We can just undock it and let it follow this path and crash into Kerbin. That's, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Goodbye. We, on the other hand, are right now burning to get ourselves into a decent orbit. Oh, see that spin? That's because the engines are and uh, not quite set the best. Hmm. Is that gonna crash, I wonder? I don't think it's gonna crash. No, it's not gonna crash. And why am I sp still spinning? Come on. I have to do this manually or what? And... We're almost there. Get rid of this maneuver. Mm-hmm, and that's it. <laughs> Look how close we are to the surface. Our shadow is there, but we should should go straight across this ridge here. And we won't come here again, because we are landing right here in um, a bit less than one orbit. What's the time it will take me? 37 minutes to get there. How about, let's finally see what this does. Huh? Okay. Luckily I have crew with me. I had no idea you need crew in that. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. Just someone. You're in. No. What can we do? Operational. What are we even doing? Do we have an antenna? Yes, we have. I think we have to use that. So it's operational. What can... How do we do stuff with it? Um... Crew hedge. Wait, let's see what it looks like from the inside. Not this guy. Top, top two seats are empty. What? Oh, they aren't even here. They aren't even shown. Because... I, I don't know. How do... Aha. Uh -huh. Bile process effect. Aha, uh -huh, so it turns out you don't do experiments in this. And um, this is just to improve the experiments that you do do. Uh, so, if I had a Mr. Go container or something, uh, I could transmit that at a higher percentage and uh, get more science from it, but it would also be reusable. I could use it again later, in the same Mr. Goo container. So since we don't really have anything with us, uh, we'll just land on Minmus and get some surface samples. I guess that's all we can do. Starting our burn. And we're deorbiting already. Whoa, that's fast. Maybe let's retract that. And let's extend this. Perfect. And... There we go. Minimus is so easy to land on. Oh, we bounced. 
<laughs> mm. No, I guess it's gonna surface sample. <laughs> now let's see what happens when we try to transmit it. Oh, no. Uh, there it is. Okay. And it takes longer, I guess. It's almost done. And now it will... Oh, wait, it transmitted instantly. Aha! Yes, yeah, so we can do that now. Alright, I get it. I get it how this is used now. Mm -hmm. Now, let's get another surface sample. Uh, where is the closest... I guess let's go there. We could go there. I just found out another feature of this is that it can store infinite amounts of data. So, let's see how that works. Do we need to pick it up and bring it in here? <laughs> How's he walking? He's just jumping randomly. Mm -hmm. So if we transmit it, we can't get any more. Oh, so this is how you get the rest uh, of the science from each thing. You need to get it in a processing lab. I get it now. Because there's always... Uh, there's always this bar. Apparently, uh, you can only get this if you process it. So let's process that. And uh, I guess it's pointless to transmit it now. Now the question is, should we, that's probably the closest, should we go there by our ship, or by an EVA? Let's turn off the lights because we don't need them anymore. It keeps blinking, everything around me keeps blinking. Wait, that's that? How about this? How do I get this? We won't transmit this one, <laughs> we have like 5%. Let's go for an EVA. Oh, uh huh. That way. Yeah, obviously. That's the closest. How much fuel do I have? That's quite a bit. I have spent over half of my fuel trying to find a spot where it's not this icy... Where it's not the same biome anymore. It actually goes for quite a while. Well, I'm pretty far out already. Yeah, it should be a new biome here. Come on. No, let's go a bit further. No. There we go, something new, Midlands. Keep that and get it back to the ship, which is, I don't even know. There. And here we are, returning with, how much? Quite a bit of fuel left. Mm-hmm, it's full. So let's EVA one of them. Oh, wait. Um... I said... Let's EVA one of them. Don't... Switch out. You have the sample. Oh, it has the EVA report still. I guess let's just transmit that. This one let's keep, this one let's process. Oh, I know what we don't have yet. Mm, okay, keep that. We won't transmit it. If a report from the surface. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's not very super heroic. I think we still have enough fuel to move the ship like up here and do a bunch of stuff there. Because it seems like there's a bunch of biomes around here. 
So let's do that. Our destination seems to be in that direction I'm looking at right now. I made a quick save just in case. So let's see. No, no, no. What is it? No, that's the wrong direction. And... There we go. That's it. We need to go there. No, not... <coughs> hey, we can see it. Right there. Should be it, right? Uh, kind of like that? No. A bit more. And that should be it. Again, Minmus does spin. Yeah, I forgot to over overshoot it slightly. Because, uh, as we get there, we will break and break. And it, we will actually land about here. Not here. We will crash here if we don't do anything. But we should land right on the plateau. And here it is. Lights, please. Wait, I'm not going down. Ah, I have orb. Ah, that sucks. Very gentle touchdown. Oh wait, what am I doing right now? <laughs> Not the straightest surface I've been on. But yeah, we're right in the middle of this. Perhaps that's not, not the best place to be. I have a couple a couple data in here. What is this process lab data? Is that like process lab as a verb or lab data as a noun? Anyway, let's do it. This I just collected, no, can't can't uh oh wait i have the this thing let's transmit it the evi report and keep the rest i don't think i can get one of them out right now so let's go with him and get i think there's a different eh keep why why are not cup what no seriously Minmus is blackness. <laughs> Why was he not cooperating? Uh, it's lagging as well. Four frames per second. Let's see the information about this bug. There is information. Two frames per second. Focus sun. There is no Minmus anymore. Well, anyway, I have a quick save. Before we took off. How's the gravel? I don't see it. <laughs> Maybe I can click on something. No. It's all here, but it's black. Can throttle? Hmm. Uh -uh. Seems like I have to relaunch. And here I am landing for the second time. The black hole is gone. And yeah, the RCS is not really doing much. It's not slowing me down. Because I'm going sideways and I don't want to. Where is it? <laughs> Let's land with RCS. We could. And we are in a slightly different landing site. We are here now, not in the middle anymore. And I guess this is slightly better. But also we are going to make a quick save right now in case the same thing happens again. Now that is a way of testing if you are above a new biome. I, I go across this ridge and I don't feel like landing. I can just do an EVA report. Nope, not in a new biome yet. Still not. It should be slope soon, shouldn't it? Yes. It slopes, so now, now I can land and get a new surface sample I haven't had before. Mm-hmm. It's the same. Like the text is the same. And this. Check it out. He's on their roof. And I have a bunch of data I'm, uh, and I'm processing it as well. Keep that. Uh, let's see what we have. This we can just transmit because it's a report. 
Wait, did I skip one? No, I think there's one in here. Mm -hmm. Transmitted and... Isn't this one? Yeah, it's just being processed, so no. Not that button. I don't know what that does. Let's see. Maybe it's gonna process it twice. Maybe I can cheat that way. Mm. Yes, it is doing it twice. Interesting. How about now? Nope, not anymore. Sean failed Kerman on his journey across this ridge here to the other plateau. And on his way back, he has found nothing of interest. Or we could just slide the entire way. Is it so slippery? How is he not... How hasn't he stopped yet? Oh, the time is going slowly. I don't want that. No, very slowly. Hmm, I actually had a quick save just before he left, so since he didn't really find anything, I could just skip back to this. Now, what else could we find? I think there was another biome. There was midlands, slopes, and I think lowlands. At first I thought it was highlands, so I went here. Seems a bit higher than that, maybe not. But now, I, when I think about it, might be lowlands, so let's go like in here, into a valley. Oh no, he's doing it again. He doesn't respond to R. Duh. Seriously, it's so easy to get this black hole, whatever, the Kraken. So easy. Anyway, anyone can do this. Um, I reloaded and this is where we make our stand. Uh huh. Like, I can't even see our ship. Where is it? Are we zoomed out or something? Zooming in doesn't seem to do anything. But it feels like I'm moving my camera around something. Wait. It just started. Alright, so... Let's see. 25 hours. Aha! Uh -huh, I went to the tracking station and uh, chose this. Now I can see what it is. Huh. It's just the processing that Where is it going in the first place? Into the interstellar space. Alright. I have no idea how we could save this, so I guess let's just load the last quick save. It turns out this is even before uh, I went to these slopes close by here and got the slopes uh, surface sample and stuff. Uh, so I guess we can end the episode right here and continue next time since it's getting that long and I'll do some of this off camera since I've done it before. So will we be able to return safely back to Kerbin or will we remain stranded in the middle of nowhere? Find out in the next episode.